Hey everybody, so if you look at all the trees and pine needles around me, you might think I'm in the middle of a forest. Actually, right now I'm standing atop one of the largest natural bridges in Wisconsin. It's called, appropriately, Rock Bridge. Walking along the top of Rock Bridge gives you a beautiful wooded hike. And it's a hike with a view. As you look to either side of the rock, you'll see the small rivers wind through the local countryside. But for me, the most interesting part comes back down on the ground as you go further along this spur of rock. This man-made tunnel through the rock was created to give easy access to both sides of the park. And hey, who doesn't love a tunnel? Even though this rock is huge, a half mile in length, the natural bridge itself is on the smaller side, as you can see here. This is called a natural bridge because the opening was worn away by natural forces, such as wind or water. Now, if you had come to Rock Bridge uh, thousands of years ago, you wouldn't have seen this half mile long piece of rock sticking up out of the ground you would have seen a lot of flat ground with rivers going by. Thousands of years ago, all of this ground was at the same level as the top of Rock Bridge. What happened was, those rivers over those thousands of years wore away all of the rest of the ground around here, except for this solid rock, which remained. So just like the rock here was so solid that didn't get moved over those thousands of years, we can have parts of our character that don't change depending on who is around us or what is popular at the time. The difference between us and the rock is we're the ones who choose what stays and what goes. Now, one of the social challenges we face in life, especially in middle school, is that sometimes it's easy to be one type of person around some people and another type of person around someone else. In other words, different people appreciate and value different things, but are you the same person for everybody, or does that shift a little bit, what you talk about and what you value and who you talk about, depending on who you're around? So for today's challenge, I'd like you to discuss in your classes what things you can do to be the same person no matter who else is around. Maybe it's to talk the same way about other people behind their back as you do to their face. Maybe it's something else. It's, this is not always an easy thing to do in middle school, but as you do this, hey, that's what it means to be a real friend. All right, you take care.